Oh my, the Mexican gray wolf is slowly coming back to Arizona after 25 years of reintroduction. And today, state wildlife officials examined two Mexican gray wolves at the Southwest Wildlife Conservation Center to make sure they're still healthy enough to help repopulate the species. 12 News journalist William Pitts was there as the wolves got their checkups. You can't just give a wolf a physical. They need to be knocked out first. Lower left canine is fractured. That's Tara on the table. Dr. Ann Justice is checking her out. We're just doing an annual physical exam. These wolves are all appear to be healthy, but we just want to make sure kind of on a semi-annual basis. And we just check teeth, see what kind of shape they're in, eyes, ears, nose. Um, we'll take a listen to heart and lungs. The Southwest Wildlife Conservation Center has about a dozen Mexican gray wolves at any time. Most are older. None can be released back to the wild. They're too used to humans to survive on their own. 25 years ago, there was not a single wolf on the landscape. Having any Mexican gray wolves at all is a big step. They were almost extinct. They're still endangered. 25 years ago, the federal government started reintroducing them to eastern Arizona and New Mexico. At the time, there was a lot of pushback from ranchers, but the wolves were coming regardless. Maybe turned around is, is a bit strong, but I, I think that there's far greater support from the livestock community than there was when we first started the program. Game and Fish says there are more than 200 wolves in the wild in Arizona, but they're hoping to get more and make the population stronger by breeding more. That's something that happened at Southwest Wildlife a few years ago. It was an amazing experience because we've always cared for really old wolves, and then to have like that new life here was just really such a neat part. Which brings us back to Tara and Cruz. They were moved here because it was thought that this facility might be more conducive to them breeding. They've been paired together for four or five years and have not quite managed to get the job done. They're younger than the rest. The hope is to get them to produce wolf puppies and then adopt them out to wolves in the wild. So if Taryn Cruz do actually have puppies at some point, then we will, we will actually take their puppies away from them, all except for one or two, and put them out into the wild when they're about one to two weeks old. Cruz and Tara checked out. Next stop, recovery, waking up, and hopefully... Wolf puppies on the way. William Pitts, 12 News.